Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows. And the first thing I do, I start with some water. The water is just to lay down the eyebrows so that hair is not all over the place. And then I get a pencil. You can get any pencil. Um, I just used one that I picked up from the beauty store. And it's a charcoal pencil, so I basically outline the shape of my eyebrow. And I use charcoal so that you guys can see how it looks. So I use the charcoal to outline the shape of my brow, the shape how I want it to be. And then I'm going to start to wax it in a second. So as you can see, I actually don't have a lot of eyebrows, which is good and bad, but the waxing, basically I don't have to wax too much, but the waxing is easier for me because I don't like the thread. I feel like the thread hurts a lot more. So basically you use any wax strips. I just happen to have a body wax strip and I cut that strip into little pieces so that I could use it for my eyebrows. There are actual wax strips that you could buy that are specifically for eyebrows, but I just used the one that I had. And then once you cut the wax strip, you tear it into half and you already have two pieces for each eyebrow. However, if you want, you can get more wax strips as you need. So the trick is to put the wax on under that part that you have drawn because you want to get those straggling hairs at the bottom and then you basically paste the strip in the opposite direction of where the hair is growing. So if you notice your hair, well, your hair grows in one direction, but you want to do it the opposite direction that it's growing, so you just pull it out, and it makes it a lot easier. You smooth it down, and then, I kind of like the feeling of it because it's not too harsh. You smooth it down, and then you just pull it right off. And I had a lot of hairs, more hairs than I actually thought that I would. And you want to make sure you have your tweezers nearby just in case you missed some hairs with the wax and then you just tweeze those extra hairs out. And it's on to the second eyebrow. So sometimes I do go to, you know, the beautician and I get them done professionally. But for the most part, I like to do them myself. I like the results of them after and it's pretty easy to do. So you want to make sure you do it thick, even though my eyebrows are usually thin, I just want the look of the thickness so it looks a little bit fuller. And you brush your eyebrows up to get that thickness. Then again, you apply the wax strip and you want to pull it off to see how you do the arch over there. So I applied it with an arch and then you pull it off the opposite direction. Ooh, ouch. And this eyebrow actually came out a lot better than the other one. It was much easier also. And look how much hair that is. Arch the eyebrows, girl. You see that? You see that? Nice. And of course, if you missed any hairs, you go back in and you take them out. You know, this is your time to be a perfectionist and you really take your time. Whatever you missed, you could do the, your unibrow. I don't really have a unibrow, but still just, you know, to make sure everything is nice and clean, you go back in with the wax strips and you finish off your look. And then it's time to clean up your look. Make sure you smooth down your eyebrows. So I'm going to get the Alvaline. And in the last video I did show you guys, this is how I take off my makeup. So the Alvaline, I'm using it to take off the charcoal that I did put on my eyebrows it may be harder to see but I want you to see how it looks with the charcoal pencil and without it so you can see like how my eyebrows actually look without it and the second one did come out a lot better a lot neater so I'm gonna have to go back to the first one and just sharpen it up a little bit oh, there's a straggle over here so I am gonna tweeze that out actually no maybe I should just wax that little piece off and I'm gonna go back to the first eyebrow and fix it up. So I'm just tweezing around, you know, the hairs to make sure it's nice and smooth, nice and neat. 
just the way I like it and adding alveoline once I'm done to smooth down my hairs again and alveoline is really good because uh, if you watch my other video you can go check it out it actually it actually keeps moisture in your skin so you really want that because once you start pulling out the hairs you're taking away a lot of the moisture and it causes your skin to get dry